Uh, some will march and others will walk following the March for Life this Friday. In Washington, D.C. comes the Saturday Walk for Life in San Francisco. With the passing of California's Proposition 1, the state is now home to some of the most aggressive pro-abortion measures in the country. Plenty of reason for West Coast walkers to lace up their shoes and band together. And joining us tonight with a preview of the event is Eva Montaigne, co-chair of the Walk for Life West Coast. Eva, welcome. Great to have you with us tonight. Um, tell us a little bit more about this year's walk and also your thoughts as you kick off the event in this post-Row America. I know it's great. It's kind of a celebratory event, but also a dig your heels in event because of, like you mentioned, Prop 1. Um, this is our 19th year. Um, can't believe it. We're here for 19 years. Um, but yes, we are definitely digging our heels in because of Prop 1, because California is one of the most pro-abortion states. It's a sanctuary state, and it's basically going to take our tax dollars and and ship women from all across the country using our tax dollars to have their abortions. So there's very good reason to keep marching, keep walking, keep keep up the fight. And that's what we're going to do with some great speakers. And we are a beautiful sunny day. So please come and join us. Absolutely. And Eva, I want to go back and talk a little bit more about uh, Prop 1. Has it dampened anybody's spirits? Has it energized them, motivated them more to come out and walk? I think it's energized. We're we're up. Uh, uh, we don't ha require registrations, but we do have them online, and we're we're double of last year. So I think there is motivation here. Whether it's to celebrate the end of Roe v. Wade or to fight for Prop One, it doesn't matter. We just have to keep coming together and showing that there's a big contingent of people who believe in life, especially here on the West Coast, where no one thinks we're here. No one thinks that uh, you know, in the belly of the beast, that we can come together and show support for life, but here we are. Absolutely. And I know you have a really great lineup of speakers as well as a new choral mass uh, setting that was composed especially for the Walk for Life mass. Can you yeah. tell us a little bit more about that? Well, Archbishop Corleone has been such a support of the Walk for Life from the very beginning. Even when he was a bishop in San Diego, he would fly up here to come to our Walk for Life. So now for this year, he decided to commission a mass uh, for children's voices. So there will be a children's choir, and it'll be specifically for pro-life, walk for life for children. So we're very excited about that. I can't wait to see it and hear it. Um, so he's he's always been such a support, and he feels like this is one way that he can get the younger um, younger people involved. You know, especially even children. Uh, we're very proud of the fact that we have so many children that walk with us, families, babies, strollers, young adults, uh, all across the board. And I think he's trying to promote that. Yeah, that's so wonderful. Uh, we have about a minute or so left, Eva. But if you could tell us uh, where people can get more information if they're interested, I know that they are. And also anything else that maybe we have missed that's kind of on the agenda for this year. Well, every year we have an info fair right before the rally, and we encourage all people to attend and go to the info fair because we have pro-life organizations who hand out their material, and it's really a way to stay involved and get involved. One of our main subjects and themes is to get involved. So we encourage people to do that. And we have Rebecca Kisling, we have Sean Carney, we have Reverend Childress, and we have Angela Mintner as four of our main speakers. And we're, they're going to be great. They're going to be wonderful. And you can find out more information at www walkforlifewc.com. Well, Eva, it sounds phenomenal. Thank you for doing all this. Thank you for talking with us and God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much.